Hi, my name is Janine Gayette. I'm a dietetics student at Eastern Illinois University majoring in dietetics and I just wanted to take a few minutes with you today to talk about the importance of calcium in pre and post menopausal women. So we all know that calcium is important for building strong bones in um, younger adults and children. And this is important to achieve and maintain proper bone mass. It's also important in postmenopausal women due to hormonal changes, our bone mass decreases, which leaves us open for osteoporosis, which also puts us at risk for fractures, which can be very painful and detrimental to our overall health. So instead of focusing on the bad stuff, let's talk about what we can do to prevent these things. So first of all, um, we want to participate in weight-bearing activities, uh, exercises, uh, as well as avoid smoking and drinking in moderation and making sure we're getting an adequate amount of calcium. So you might be asking yourself, how much calcium is enough for me? If you're a premenopausal woman, you want to make sure you're getting about 1,000 milligrams of calcium per day. If you're a postmenopausal woman, you need about 1,500 milligrams per day. But if you're on hormone replacement therapy, you want to stay at 1,000 milligrams a day. So I'm sure you're thinking, how much is that, though? Milligrams, you know, I don't know what that means for me in terms of what I should be eating. So if you're going for 1,000 grams, milligrams of calcium, you want to be getting about three servings, three to four servings of dairy products per day. If you're going for 15,000 um, milligrams, you want to be getting at least four servings, maybe five, depending on how many milligrams of calcium are in each serving. So to figure this out, you simply look at the food nutrition label on the back of your bottle of milk or whatever product you're drinking or eating, and it'll say the percentage of calcium. Like, for instance, this says 30% calcium to your daily value, and that's based on 1,000 milligrams. So you just want to add a zero to the back of that. That said 30% of your daily value, so that has 300 milligrams of calcium. So that's about one serving. And I'll do another example really quick. Um, this again, this yogurt has 30% of your daily value, so that would be 300 milligrams as well. So if you had a serving of milk, which is only half of that bottle, and a thing of yogurt, that would be 600 milligrams. So you're pretty close to your 1,000 or 1,500 milligrams, depending on your target amount of calcium in your diet. So for more information on calcium and serving sizes, please visit um, the American Dietetics Association website at www.eatright.org.